In this video, I'll be breaking down exactly what Airtable is, what is great about it, and why you should seriously consider adding it to your tool stack. And the reason is simple. If you've ever needed a business tool that doesn't quite exist, that actually combines aspects of different software, all tailored to your specific workflows, look no further, that tool is Airtable. And it might just forever change how you think about software and internal tools. Don't believe me? See for yourself. This is Airtable to manage your product roadmap. This here is also Airtable, but for event planning. And here, this is one of our Airtable apps that we use internally at 9x to manage all our content operations in one place, YouTube, LinkedIn posts, blog articles, etc. I just give you entirely different use cases, all very specific, but supported by the same platform. And we're just scratching the surface here. Airtable can support a whole wide range of use cases, no matter your role or business function. How is this possible? Let me explain. What is Airtable? At its core, Airtable is a custom objects software solution. What this means, with Airtable, you can create and manage objects in a dedicated database and build custom interfaces and automations on top of it without writing a single line of code. What are objects? In programming, objects are basically containers for data that have certain properties and behaviors. Think of them as digital representations of real-world items. Objects are involved with absolutely everything we do with software every day. Let me give you some examples. To represent our relationships with people and organizations, we work all day with companies, people, users, or partner objects. To track our conversations, we are going to use emails, messages, meetings, call objects. To manage our work on a daily basis, we use deals if we work in sales, tickets if we work in customer support, invoices if we're part of the finance team, ads if we are in the marketing team. And so what are objects for? They're here to structure the information we work with when we use software. Now, why am I telling you all this? One way to look at the tools you use on a daily basis is that they are interfaces to work with these objects. Most software applications you use daily, like Salesforce, Asana, or HubSpot, come with predefined objects that serve specific purposes. Salesforce has accounts, contacts, opportunities, so you can sell. Xero has invoices, credit notes, bank transfer objects, which are great for accounting. Zendesk, which is a customer support platform, has chats, tickets, user objects. These predefined objects work great when your business processes align perfectly with how the software was designed. When your business processes don't match existing software, you're going to typically end up with one, scattered spreadsheets trying to track everything, two, endless email chains for approvals and updates, or three, too many meetings to coordinate what should be automated or supported with software. This creates inefficiency, wastes valuable time, and introduces errors that could cost your business. What makes Airtable great is that it lets you define your own objects and functionalities. You're no longer constrained by someone else's idea of how your business should operate. You're now in the driver's seat and you can define how software should work for you. If you want to create a custom client project object that combines elements of projects, invoicing, and client communication, in Airtable, you can build that exact structure without writing a single line of code. The beauty of Airtable is that it's rather easy to use. Airtable offers a visual drag and drop interface that anyone can master. And on top of that, Airtable recently released Omni, which lets you also build with natural language. All you have to do is describe your idea and Omni will generate a prototype of what your application could look like. So when should you use Airtable? I'm not saying that you should drop all your other tools and rebuild your entire stack on top of Airtable. There is a sweet spot. Airtable is perfect when you need a custom internal tool. What I mean by that, something tailored to your team's workflow. If existing apps don't match your requirements, Airtable lets you build one that does. It's also a great fit if you want to own the tool. Instead of relying on SaaS application to put the features you need on their roadmap, you and your team can build a tool that fits your exact needs today. So let me give you a good example and a bad example. At 9x, we built our content machine in Airtable. It runs our content operations from ideas to publishing exactly the way we need it. No SaaS product off the shelf could have matched that because we have a particular way of doing things internally. And so building an app on Airtable 
made a ton of sense in this situation. But Airtable isn't right for everything. If you're considering to build a full CRM in Airtable, that's usually a bad idea. There are tons of CRMs that already exist and they're all optimized for things like specific integrations, retrieving your emails, logging calls, reporting, and eventually, they're going to be a better fit than Airtable. Rebuilding one in Airtable usually means more pain than freedom. And I'm well positioned to tell you that. Our first CRM at 9x was built on top of Airtable and we quickly realized it wouldn't be the right solution in the long term. So don't make that mistake on building absolutely everything on top of it. You will waste time and resources. Focus on custom internal tools that you want to maintain. In summary, you want to consider using Airtable when one, your workflows don't fit neatly into existing software categories. And two, you have some time and resources to allocate to building with it. This custom app is not gonna build itself magically. You're going to have to learn how to build with Airtable. And that's it for this quick overview of Airtable. Now you might be thinking, this looks great, but how do I get started? Well, if you click right here in the next video, you can learn everything about Airtable in just 25 minutes. By the end of that video, you'll be able to set up your own Airtable system and start automating a ton of the operation and processes in your own business. So check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Also turn on the notifications so you'd never miss the next video and see you next time.